Hello, everyone. Welcome to this session on culture studies. Today, we are going to talk about culture studies in terms of questions and answers. Hey, did you watch the previous video where we discussed all the major works and authors? Guys, from Bodhi Tree, we have some amazing books on literary theory and culture studies. Maybe you have them already. Today, we are going to introduce another very useful book also to you. Stay and watch and we'll play some very interesting game at the end. Okay, so let us begin. Live quiz based on unit seven, cultural studies. All of you know that culture studies is a very important area for all important exams. Culture studies involves literary theory, but even more than that, there are many different uh, diverse branches in culture studies, such as we have media studies, gender studies, modernity studies, space studies, etc. So, if you are ready, we will go on to look at the questions. Okay, everybody. The Uses of Literacy by Richard Hogarth was published in which year? Is it 1957 or 1950 or 1955 or 1958? The Uses of Literacy by Richard Hogarth. Tell me everyone. Richard Hogarth was the founding member of, you know it, CCCS, Center for Contemporary Culture Studies. And Richard Hogarth published Uses of Literacy, very major book in 1957. I'm sure you remember that. Now, uh, the next question. In Culture and Anarchy, Raymond Williams discussed five key words to outline the transition of culture from Britain from the 18th century onwards. From the 18th century onwards, things have changed. So what is this transition that they talked about, uh, that he talked about, Raymond Williams? And what are the five key words that he used to show this transition? Do you know, is it culture, is, it, is industry there? Is democracy there? Is art and literature there? Tell me the answer. Industry is there, democracy is there, art is there, but literature is not there. Literature is not there. Do you want to know which are the five key words that Raymond Williams talked about in culture and society? I will tell you. Industry, democracy, culture, art and class. Remember that, industry, democracy, culture, art and class. Okay, who among the following was a professor of sociology at the Open University in Britain? Professor of sociology at the Open University in Britain. Is it Raymond Williams, Paul Duguay, Paul Duguay, actually, uh, Stuart Hall, Richard Hogarth, Professor of Sociology. It is, I will tell you, a person who came to Oxford as a Rhodes Scholar. Who came to Oxford as a Rhodes Scholar? It is Stuart Hall. It is Stuart Hall. Richard Hogarth, Raymond William C.P. Thompson. What is common among them? Read carefully. They were all associated with CCCS at various times. Is it correct? Bolo, yes, it is correct. They all came from working class backgrounds. Correct. All of them endorsed working class culture. 
Correct, hai. all the above. Very good. All the above is the answer. Okay. So, Stuart Hall uh, worked with them. Richard Hogarth, Raymond Williams and E.P. Thompson. Stuart Hall was from Jamaica. These people were from England, working class culture. Right, guys. Who among the following used the term culture studies for the first time? Who used the term cultural studies for the first time? Is it Raymond Williams, Richard Hogarth, Stuart Hall, or E.P. Thompson? It is the man who founded the CCCS in 1964. It is Richard Hogarth. All right. He used the term culture studies for the first time. The poverty of theory is a dash by E.P. Thompson. The poverty of theory. Is it an essay? Is it a collection of essays? Is it a philosophical treatise? A theoretical tract? Bolo! It is a collection of essays. You are right. It is a collection of essays. Now, poverty of theory. Identify this person. Okay? Identify this person. This man was born in a working class family in Wales. Do you know him? Working class family in Wales. He joined the Communist Party and also fought in the Second World War. Joined the Communist Party, fought in the Second World War. He's from Wales. Bolokan hai. Is it Stuart Hall? Raymond Williams? Richard Hogarth? None of the above. It is Raymond Williams. Remember, Raymond Williams was born in Wales in a working class family. His father was a railway worker. Raymond Williams joined the Communist Party. He fought in the Second World War. He wrote Culture and Anarchy and the Long Revolution, very famous works and also many other works. We will talk about them. Who categorized culture as ideal, documentary and social. Ideal culture is your ideas, your uh, beliefs, your virtues. Documentary is as culture is documented in newspapers, in literature, in art. Social culture is how it is lived, our relationships. Who talked about it? Is it Richard Hogarth, Raymond Williams, Stuart Hall, E.P. Thompson? Thank you for the hearts, everybody. I have got your hearts. It is Raymond Williams who talked about ideal culture, documentary culture, and social culture. Guys, is there anybody here who has not subscribed to our channel? I will, we will bring you lots of useful materials without stress, okay? It will be great if you subscribe to our channel and subscribe uh, and also press the bell icon. Just reminding you. Now, in which work has Williams talked about realism and the contemporary novel? Realism and the contemporary novel is actually the title of a chapter in which work? Is it culture and society, the long revolution towards 2000, none of the above? It is the long revolution, the long revolution. Chapter number seven it is. That's great, guys. Thank you, guys. Hello. Now. Who was the founder of the New Left Review? New Left Review. Is it Stuart Hall, Raymond Williams, Richard Hogarth, E.P. Thompson? New Left Review is the periodical of the New Left. Thank you for all the hearts, guys. Got every one of them. It is Stuart Hall. Stuart Hall was there. Actually, all of them were there in New Left Review. Uh, from the beginning. Marxism and Literature by Raymond Williams. Tell me, Marxism and Literature was published in which year? 
Marxism and literature. Uh, I think that is where he coined the term cultural materialism. The ideas of the reading public and of popular press of Britain. The ideas of the reading public, the ideas regarding popular press of Britain. Where did he discuss this, Raymond Williams? Is it culture and society, long revolution, country and the city or communications? The ideas of the reading public and the idea of popular press. It is in the famous book, Long Revolution. He talks about reading public and popular press here. Remember that. Which of these statements is wrong about the users of literacy? This work is a profoundly influential classic of British post-war cultural analysis. It is an autobiographical study drawn from Hogarth's own experiences. This work focuses on a case study, the particular plight of the poor and underprivileged. All the above are true. The uses of literacy, all the above are true. I'm trying to give you points. This work is profoundly influential. It's a classic of British post-war culture. Autobiographical study of his own experiences also, it is uses of literacy. And it focuses on a case study. What is the case study? The particular plight of the poor and underprivileged in relation to available mass media. All these are true. Got it, guys? Who said culture is a social and cultural formation arising from processes which can only be studied as they work themselves out over a considerable historical period. Culture is a social and cultural formation. Culture is a social and cultural formation. It is a very famous statement made by E.P. Thompson. And E.P. Thompson talked about the making of the English working class. How is the English working class coming into being? That is what he talked about through their documentary uh, cultural evidence. All right. Communications is a work by who wrote communications. It is Raymond Williams. Communications is a work we talks about where he talks about mass communications. Raymond Williams. Political Shakespeare by Alan Sinfield and Jonathan Dollymore. In which year was it published? Political Shakespeare by Alan Sinfield and Jonathan Dolly Moore, published in 1985. Okay, 1985. Encoding, decoding model. This one everybody will know. Tell me everybody. Encoding, decoding model of communication is associated with which theorists? Very easy now, everybody knows. It is Stuart Hall. Stuart Hall. Very good. Hey, this is a surprise for you. Both of three publications, we have a very good book called Tell Me, Is This True or False? You know, this book is an amazing way to remember. A lot of very good information. Very small book, very easy to understand. But lots of questions and exams are coming from this book. Let us start some true or false from culture studies. Stuart Hall became director of CCCS in 1974. True or false? Bolo, let us see if you know. Stuart Hall became director of CCCS in 1974. Is it true or false? It is true, guys. Raymond Williams introduced the concept of cultural materialism. True or false? I told you this now. I even told you more about it. I told you the name of the book. It is true. Marxism and literature. Ta -da -da -da. In the long revolution, Williams has devoted a chapter to the mechanism of the creative mind. Mechanism of the creative mind. That is also true, guys. Check this out, read on your own. 
It will do you good in the exam. Yay! The making of the English working class was published in 1963. Lagta hai ye bhi true hi is it true or false? True. The making of the English working class, 1963, E.P. Thompson. Rapid Americanization in the 1950s and 60s was a crucial factor in the massification of British culture. Massification, matlab, everywhere it is mass culture. It is true. True. Hai. Partha Chatterjee is associated with the idea of the political society. Partha Chatterjee is a very important figure from the subaltern studies group. He's a professor in Columbia University. And Partha Chatterjee has written many novel, many books, novels, many critical works, including Nation and its Fragments. Is he associated with the idea of political society? Too. Jürgen Habermas critically evaluates the usage of the term public in history and literature. While exploring public sphere. Correct hai kya? True. That is also true. Jürgen Habermas talked about public sphere. Public sphere. Pierre Bourdieu was a French sociologist who taught in Algeria during the French colonial rule. Did he teach in Algeria during the French colonial rule? Are wa, wo bhi true. Sab to true hi hai ha. Everything is true. Okay. So, dear friends, how do you study culture studies? You have to first, if you don't have any material, no problem. You have to first check what is culture studies. Who are the major figures? What are the different branches? All right. And then look out these, uh, check out these branches in internet. Check out these theorists and books in internet. Make your own notes. There are very good culture studies uh, lectures that I myself have given, other people also have given in YouTube, free lectures. Listen to them, make notes. And if you want, you can also buy Bodhi Tree book. No, wor no worries if you don't buy, no problem. But you should do your own work. You know why? Because understanding culture studies will help you tremendously in doing research and also in writing papers. You will be an amazing scholar if you know culture studies. So please read on your own. Become independent. Okay. You don't have to depend on anybody if you study on your own, if you learn on your own. As students, as well as as professionals, we should be independent. We should do uh, very good things independently. That is the sign of a professional. So we should all be professional. Learn more and more. Be self-motivated. Did you understand? Do things because of self-motivation and you will have a great career. I can see all of you working in big colleges, doing amazing things, inspiring students, writing books, becoming famous. Everybody should read your books like we are reading Raymond Williams today. This is our dream, isn't it? This is the dream that we are sharing. I am dreaming about you. You should dream about yourself. And when you teach, students should listen to you. They should understand everything. They should say, wow, this teacher is great. How is that possible? By completely understanding everything, by studying thoroughly. Wow, Bharati has qualified net. I'm so proud of you, Bharati. Congratulations. We will very soon have a felicitation program. We, has, we have a large number of people who passed from Balat and we will felicitate. And you know what is happening here? People who attend a course in Balat, when they get JRF in that batch itself, we are returning their fees. Do you understand? Because we appreciate their efforts, because we are proud of them. If you join Balat, and if you study and you get JR of that time, you will get your fees back. It's my promise. Okay. So that is amazing. Let us live our dream together. Let us have great careers. When we all develop, when we all learn, when we all have good careers, what will happen? Our country will become very successful. Our country will become famous because of us. People will say across the world, India is the place to go if you to go to if you want to study English literature. 
like that people from uk usa from all parts of the world should come to india to study english literature we can do that no problem we can do that only thing we should read books we should um, completely devote ourselves to studying for many years and then what should you do you should start teaching and learning along with it so guys wish you all the best god bless you we will be back with the to, uh, with you tomorrow with more questions uh, our team valat is working hard for you there are telegram quizzes at 9:30 we have uh, newsletters coming out please make use of all this and just bloom in your careers okay thank you good night god bless you bye bye see you tomorrow